Hello everybody. How are you today? It's Laura. Uh, we, today we're going to do a um, deconstructed bloom. So this is where you um, do a bloom and you tilt it to get kind of an abstract look. You're, you're getting rid of the, um, the floral look of it, so to speak. So, um, I'm going to do two blooms on here and I'm going to use this first one is, uh, Burnt Umber Amsterdam Paint. Just opened my container and realized I have to thin it out just a tad. It got cold here overnight. It got very cold. So it's cooler in my basement and the paints get thick. So I'm just adding a little bit of Minwax water to my paint. That's three parts Minwax polycrylic and one part water mixed together it's in a condiment bottle and i can just squirt some in here and thin it out so that's how that works so i want to avoid the um white in between it in between the two blooms so i'm going to put them kind of closer together so here we go I'm going to do one right here, and one right here. So this is going to let them blow into each other. It's going to keep them kind of in the middle so that we don't lose it off the edge when we tilt. So there's that. The second color we're going to use is Primary Elements Coral. Now see, this one did not thicken up. So it's perfect and ready to go. I'm just giving it a stir. I kind of push the bubbles out of the way so that I don't get any or try to avoid getting any on the painting. Okay. Next is going to be this little piggy sockeye. It's a little bit deeper of a color than that um, coral that we just used. So we'll put some of that down. So this is only my second deconstructed bloom ever. Um, I do have that, that pillow there is pretty thick because you need, and it's pretty plentiful. I'm going for more right now because you've got to be able to tilt these quite a distance. This is a eight by 10. Actually, this is quinacridone magenta paint. So when I'm doing something new, I always like to use more paint than less so that I don't run out. And that's kind of how I learn how much to use. Popping bubbles on the way. Next color, this little piggy sapphire. 
It's a deep, deep blue. So you'll see, I kept my browns together, my browns and corals together because they play well together. The corals wouldn't necessarily, in my mind, play so well with the blue because orange and blue is kind of finicky. So that's why I put the magenta in between the oranges and the blue. This is um, Folk Art Aqua Metallic. Aquamarine Metallic. So that's going over the blue because blue and teal play well together. Then I'm coming in with this little piggy cappuccino. It is a deep dark brown and I think that will be pretty. It needs a little bit of min water. I think that will be pretty next to the teal. Teals and browns are always a nice color combination. Light blues and browns are a nice color combination. So yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of this. Not too, too much. Because I don't want it to take over. a little drizzle drizzle okay and then last and I don't I guess I want to do this to kind of keep it light this is titanium buff by Amsterdam it's just a, a little off-white color just to lighten up that cappuccino a little bit so my first um, color down was a paint I did paint piggy piggy paint piggy paint piggy paint so you kind of want to keep um you know keep alternating so now we're going to add our cell activator i'm going to get my uh, do we want to use the mini blower or the bigger blower I think we'll use the bigger blower. All right, here we go. great below but we're going to work on that totally made a boo boo there alright 
and so so but with this type of with this type of painting it's not really really crucial okay let's let it do its thing and we have to let it um, release so now we're going to get dirty we will be lifting and tilting so you probably want some gloves on I really um, I like the tilting some people don't I think it gives you a whole different look so it's worth experimenting with <laughs> it's always interesting trying to get two of these gloves open and ready to go I should do that before I start all right so let's see what we got do we have and yeah, the paint is still not moving in the center let's give it a minute so we got to wait till that's ready to go it's ready to it comes back up and it starts to move i do like the color combinations here it's pretty uh different uh different shades than i'm used to Not yet. You gotta wait until that until it's all moving together. <clears throat> so unfortunately fortunately for the video here, there's a little lag time. I do like that titanium buff right there, that off white. We've got all our colors here. Pretty. All right, let's see. Not yet. I do want to put down a little bit more white around the edge. Get some white going on there. Oh, of course I can't get my lid off. Oh, there we go. I'm going to say I can't get my lid off with these gloves on. Let's give it a little bit to help it out here. Come on. If you don't do this, you will get um, the paint rolling over itself. Whoa. See, I try to go not too much, and then I don't get enough. So let's help this, help this out here. I should have wore the tight gloves. But I didn't think I'd be adding paint here. We're going to need a little more right there. Boy, my base is thick today. This is going to give us some fits and starts here. We'll get it. All right, here we go. So 
So I want to get it to go off that corner. Corner and back. Now we'll come down, we'll get this corner. It takes time, especially with this paint being thick today. Come on, come on, come on. All right, back. And it kind of grabs onto the edge. Now we're going to come back this way. suppose well let's come down and get this corner down here since we're almost there and it just gives you a totally different abstract look this um this technique something more like regular pours if you if you um yeah like your your uh, open cup pours and things like that you can do it like so whoa almost lost it okay let's get it going back that way See, and you're traveling so far, you do need that extra paint to get you there. Come on, let's get moving. I really love the teal poking through. Come on, let's go. We having fun yet? I am. Every painting is always fun. Get there, get there. A little more. Okay. Now I want to bring it back. I want to bring that teal, kind of center it up at least. Well, I don't even know which way you're seeing. Not from top to bottom lengthwise, but from left to right. But you could see with this stretching now I had those blooms touching each other and we still have that that white in the center now see so it what you put down it really stretches it so even though you think you've got them close together you really don't <laughs> Oh, I'm liking this. This is pretty. I wish that there was some more color in the center there. So, what if we do... Oh, my. I just got paint on my shirt. That makes me mad. 
There we go. Took care of that. So let's let's put down just a little bit of pillow here. We're going to do one like right here. Now I'm going to try and be very gentle. All right. Now we're going to do the colors again. This is how you can fix it. Or try to at least I know you're saying oh geez we're back to all those colors again but I don't know that we're going to use them all actually I know we're not We can switch it up and make it this one a little bit different. Okay. Uh, I think we have, well, let's put down a little bit of the Quinacridone magenta. I think I would like some more of the darker colors in there. So let's stick with those. And maybe we can get some more cells on this one since I did a bad blow on the other one. I'm going to skip the cap. Well, no, I'm going to put the cappuccino, but I'm not going to put the titanium buff. We'll get some darkness here. Okay, that's where I'm going to quit. Now, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to. Where is my cell? Oh, it's hiding behind my big bottle here. Little hair dryer this time. Cover up that little drizzly drizzle there. Get that going out. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Okay, that one is cute. Now we're going to have to wait a little bit. Oh yeah, this is going to be nice. So while we're standing here waiting, we can cover up our paints. We can just wait around. This is going to be pretty. I love it. What do you think so far? I like the color combination. I like that it is um, rather pastel-like. All right, 
Let's see what we got. I'm just going to get another paper, paper towel ready, and I'm just going to use my hands. I'm not going to fiddle around with gloves. All right. So... not quite moving at the same pace there trying to rush it a little bit but let's see what happens Still not ready. And these take a while to do just because you do have to wait for it to. There we go. Now it's starting. So we're going to let that go that way, perhaps this way too. And it's going to get scrunched up, but then when you tilt it back the other way, it's going to Come back again and stretch out. Just want to catch that edge. I don't like what's in the corner there. So I kind of wanted to minimize that. Now we're going to go this way. See how it's stretching back? It takes time. So therefore, these videos of the deconstructed blooms are going to be longer. Sorry about that. You can kind of uh, fast forward through. Hope you can see. And I want to try to, one second, I want to get a different grab here. How about that? I 
I want to try and get rid of that white over there. At least some of it. So there's a, a YouTube artist, Karen Durishan, who kind of specializes in these. She does beautiful work. And her, um, her channel is Waterfall Acrylics. So if you like this technique, you can take a look over there and get some ideas. This is very slow, but it's going to be beautiful. I just love these colors. All right, let me take a look. No, I want that white gone. Not gone, but just minimized too much over there. Go, 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 go. There we go. We're almost there. Obviously, we don't need to do any spinning because there's not much paint left at all. All right, that's good enough. To... Now, you would not believe the shimmer and shine on here. Now, let's take it all kind of down over there to that whitish area if we can. Get it kind of back centered. How pretty is this? And then the only other thing I see that I want to do is I want to try to get the um, that little bit of white between the two um, kind of smoothed out. Oh, yeah. Look at that, everybody. All right. Let me wipe my hands. <laughs> we got a mess. This is very messy. I want to get those little handles that go on the side of uh, canvas. Oh, this is beautiful. All right. So, right here. I want to get rid of this white so I'm gonna try just barely touching just to kind of tap and drag see how I tap that that pink and kind of dragged it and that looks much nicer um, there's a little bit right there now, if you tap too hard, you're going to bring up white, so you don't want to do that. That's better. So I'm going to take my little stick, just fix up my edges where it's needed. Not much right here.
This actually takes me longer than my modified balloon. Just my little corners. See, all my paint is down underneath here. Just get a little bit on there. And it'll smooth out. All right. I love it. It is a totally um, different abstract look. So it's cute that way. Cute that way. I see a bubble. Fixed. See one more. And one right here. I'm giving it the one you would not believe these colors. I will give you the up close and personal right now. Here we go. Oh, my phone's going to get all dirty. Here we go. First off, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So, give you, a, let me put the flash on. Oh, the flash was on. Oh, now it's saying I'm low on battery. Go away. Okay, it won't let me put the flash on now because it was on. But if you can see the shimmer and the sparkle in here, look at that. So pretty. And even over here in, in these like ribbons very pretty so if you um enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up um please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers i don't know which way i like it best i might like it sideways or not like that whoopsie i think i prefer it sideways but again, it's just another abstract look that is, is so pretty and so different. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it very much. You take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.